Kazari Sport defender Joseph Atama is dreaming of a place in Oto Ado squad for the, this year's FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The 28-year-old has a stellar season uh, in the Turkish top flight league last year, making 37 appearances and scoring two goals and making one assist. Atama was a guest on Joy Sports today on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> one of my biggest dreams to I play see. in uh, Qatar, mm, mm, mm. like the World Cup itself. Of course, of mm -hmm. course. Let's let's talk about the you know what's been happening so far. I mean, uh, the last round of matches against Nigeria, that double header, uh -huh. you know, the uh, qualifiers that have been played so far. I mean, I'm sure you've been monitoring. Yeah, yeah I watch every game. Tell me. Yeah, I would say like the the coach, the staff has really done a great job because it wasn't easy. As in like this short period of time for them to be given a, a, the chance to be a, a, the national uh, coaches. You know, and to have this place within a short period of time and to qualify the, the country to the uh, World Cup, it's, it's really a tough uh, thing for them as a coach and for the players also because that is their first time having a uh, coaching uh, this place and having a coach like him also. So I would say they like both the coach and the players has really done a great job to qualify the team to Qatar and also with these two uh, qualifiers that they played, they won the first game and the second game they drew. I think it's, it's a good sign. Well, how well do you see Ghana performing at the FIFA World Cup when the opportunity comes? Looking at the kind of opposition, um, you know, within the group stage, Portugal, uh, Korea, uh, you know, uh, Uruguay. Yeah, I would say it's, it's a different game altogether because uh, you don't know what's going to happen. And now football is it's a different game altogether, like I said. You cannot predict until the 90 minutes is end. As a, and before you can see that, okay, fine, this is the result. People are saying that, like, yeah, Ghanaians cannot make it to a group stage, but trust me, we have quality players that we can prove to other, uh, other countries that, like, we can qualify to the next group. Now, there are those who talk about revenge, staging revenge, you know, against, you know, Uruguay, uh, Uruguay for, you know, that very unfortunate experience in 2010. Uh, what do you what do you make of that? Is it is it a good thing to to focus on revenge against you know Uruguay? Yeah, for me, I would say that this is it's a good thing, and the other side is also it's not a good thing because it has passed. Though we can remember it, but we just have to focus. That is the main uh, thing that we have to do. We just have to focus game by game. We shouldn't focus on Uruguay. That like it's a revenge, so we have to do everything possible to to win that game. Who knows, maybe if we draw against them or we lose or we win and we look at the other pictures, playing the uh, other countries also, we can also win there. So the whole thing is we just have to be focused in all the games that we have to play and we have to take game one by one, like a step by step. We don't have to just put it in like as in revenge and revenge. No. Mm, mm, mm. 